There's a challenge on the VCV Rack subreddit right now to create the coolest sounding patch that only uses the built-in modules, which means the free modules that come with the VCV Rack. That's Slim Pickens, and there are no designated modules for drums, so I figured I'd show how to make a kick, snare, and a hi-hat. Let's start with the kick. We're going to need a trigger source, I'm going to use the Sequence 3, a voltage-controlled oscillator, voltage-controlled amplifier, two envelope generators, and a mixer. We connect the VCO's sine wave to the input of the VCA. The trigger source will provide a gate for our envelope, and the envelope output will go into the CV input of the VCA. We'll also have this trigger source go into the second ADSR, but its envelope will go into the first input of the mixer. The mix output will then feed the VCO's input, and that's it. We won't hear anything until we start adjusting the envelopes in the mixer. So let's cut the attack, decay, and sustain all the way down on both ADSRs, and start to turn the mixer down. Adjust the releases in the first channel of the mixer to taste, and get whatever kick you want. Next we have the hi-hat. This one's pretty easy. I'm going to use the sequence 3 as the trigger source again, a VCA, a VCF, which is a voltage controlled filter, a noise source, and an ADSR. We'll plug the trigger into the gate input of the ADSR and its envelope controls to the CV input of the VCA. This is a really common technique that you'll see a lot. The noise input goes into the input of the VCA and the out goes to the filter. Utilize the high pass filter output and we're good to go. Let's cut the attack, decay, and sustain back and give it just a little release. I'm going to turn the filter cutoff up a bit and here's how it sounds. We can use an LFO and a random to control the release of the ADSR to get kind of an open hi-hat effect too. We would just connect the LFO sine wave output to the release control voltage port and turn up the attenuverter a little bit. And now we connect the smooth output from the random to the FM control of the LFO and turn up its attenuverter. Adjust the random's parameters to taste. I like these settings. And here's how it sounds. Lastly, we have the snare. This is super similar to the hi-hat. We need a trigger source, a VCA, a VCF, and an ADSR, and of course a noise source. We'll connect the trigger to the gate input of the ADSR, and I'm sure you can guess what happens next. The envelope out goes to the VCA control voltage input. The input of the VCA is fed by the noise source. I'm using white noise for this one. The output of the VCA goes into the filter, and the low pass output goes to the mixer. I'm going to raise the cutoff of the filter and cut back the attack, decay, and sustain, and bring the release back a little bit, just like we did before. And here's how they all sound together. If you like this kind of content, you can let me know that by liking, subscribing, and putting a comment. If you like free stuff, I've got a bunch of it on my Ko-fi page, which you can find in the description. Thanks for checking this video out, and I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.